Welcome and thanks for joining us. My guests today are Jim O'Farrell, the CEO of AMSG, and Jeff Rubery, the market executive for Virginia at Eagle Bank. Thanks so much for joining us today. Let's talk about, first of all, AMSG. What is AMSG? What do you do? We are a government contractor. We've been around now for celebrating our 15th year this year, and we are supporting exclusively the federal government, everyone from the Marine Corps to the Department of Energy, several other federal agencies. And you have a relationship with Eagle Bank, and you've had one for some time now. Tell us about how that partnership came to be and how it's helped you throughout your work. Absolutely. Well, we were looking for a, a banking relationship more than just a transactional um, you know, paradigm where you, you, a relationship, one that is based on trust and responsiveness and that they are always there when we need them. And that's what Eagle Bank has been throughout our relationship. Jeff, uh, how does that work? How do you make sure that you're there when they need you? Well, one of the, one of the beauties of, of Eagle Bank, Nick, is that um, we have a very deliberate culture. Um, and as a small regional bank founded here in the D.C. area uh, for 25 years now, um, we implement that value system every day. And, uh, and Jim actually hit on a couple of them when he said responsive uh, and, and trusted. Uh, we go by a proposition that uh, is, is stated as relationships first, with the first being an acronym for flexible, involved, responsive, uh, strong, and trusted. And so we try to, uh, we aspire to live by those values every day, and I'm happy to hear Jim say that he's, he's pulled in a couple of them. So when someone calls you on the phone, they get a person. They do. Yeah. They do. You know, we want to be impactful. We don't want to be that just the transaction. And, and Jim is an AMSG are a terrific example of that. Yeah. Uh, Jim, were there any challenges or opportunities you were facing that, as a company that brought you to Eagle Bank specifically, that you sought out Eagle Bank and said, Eagle Bank can really help us with this? Well, you know, I think one of the, the main challenges of a small but growing business is that you, especially in government contracting, um, sometimes there's that expression, you know, the, the kind of the dog that catches the bus. And a couple of times we've won those big contracts. Recently, we were awarded a $60 million contract with the Defense Health Agency to provide warrior care support. And actually, the first deliverable was of that was to put on the warrior games and support that opportunity. And how that relates to Eagle Bank directly is that when you win a big contract like that, you hire new employees into the company. We call them team members. And you bring these team members on board, and they expect to be paid two weeks after they start. And yet, you don't get paid by the government for you up to 60 yet. days. Okay. Exactly. So the line of credit uh, adjustments, the increases that Eagle Bank has provided over the years for situations just like that, and that they do it very quickly, because those team members, they won't stick around if they don't get paid. So, Jeff, what he was talking about just there, what Jim was talking about, it sounds like bullet points or a strategy that's already in place for you to deal with a company like that. But is that something that you already had in place, you already have in place, or is that something where you work with them and you develop it over time? Well, we have, uh, we have the infrastructure in place, Nick. We have, um, we, ha we have a relationship, and we've had a relationship with AMSG and Jim for, um, gosh, almost eight years now. Uh, maybe nine years, and and so we had the framework already there. But each of these situations uh, has its own merits, and everyone's a little bit different. So it's it's difficult to go in with a playbook and just say, you know, you said this. These are the next three steps we do, um, with with the particular contracts and the needs that that AMSG had. You know, we have to be creative in some instances and say, will this work? Will that work? And we'll work with Jim to find out what matches up with his strategy. So it's not just a rubber stamp. You actually have to work closely and be flexible. That's exactly right. And that's, and that's kind of the fun of it. That's where you become impactful. Mm -hmm. um, and then you begin to see the, the, the fruits of your labors. We're not just turning screws and moving something down the line. We're trying to understand where they want to be and, and, and you know, where the, some of the challenges may be that we need to overcome. Let's talk about the D.C. region. I would imagine that working with Eagle Bank you're in the D.C. region. Eagle Bank understands the D.C. region. That must help you very in a very particular way, right? Because you're working with people who understand where you're located. Yes, absolutely. There's not only the location aspect of it, but actually just the functional and knowledge. Uh, we, he talked about his acronym of core competence uh, and their core values. And we have our three C's, competence, courage, and compassion. 
And one of the things that we talk about a lot is competence. We want to deal with people that know their craft. They've studied it, they've learned it, they've gone to the school of hard knocks in some cases. And one of the things, as I said, we've been in business now for 15 years. And as, as Jeff just said a minute ago, we've only been with them for about half of that time. We had several experiences with previous banks. And one of the things that really stuck out to me in those previous relationships was they didn't have people that actually knew government contracting, which is a $780 billion annual uh, uh, industry. And yet there are people in banking that just treat you like you're just a mom and pop uh, dry cleaner or uh, you know a movie theater business or something like that. And it's, it is kind of a niche industry, this government contracting space. And it's really appreciated that they bring people to the table that actually can speak the language of government contracting. So Jim, as far as how you got involved with Eagle Bank in the first place, let's talk about that. How did you seek out Eagle Bank and how did that process go? Well, we, were, we had been looking around to uh, change banks. We were seeking someone, a bank that brought a little more to the government contractor space in terms of their knowledge. And we have a philosophy at AMSG uh, that's the ABCs. You're, you got to have a great attorney, a great banker, and a great CPA. And it was actually our attorney that re that referred us to Eagle Bank. And it's really been a great relationship. And so, Jeff, uh, when we're talking about the D.C. region and how important that is, in your opinion, how important is it that Eagle Bank is in the D.C. region working with these companies in the same area? How important is it for you to have that knowledge, especially of the D.C. area? Because the D.C. area is not really a normal, typical area. It's, it's a very unique place. It is a unique place, Nick, and, 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 and not to be flippant, but if you don't know what you're talking about, it's hard to give good advice. Of course. And so, um, you know, we have several folks within Eagle Bank who understand the federal space very well. Uh, we've been doing it for 25 years now. We have uh, many individuals, all based here locally, uh, who have been doing this for a long, long time. And, um, and we stay abreast of things. We're involved in the community. We're involved in the, uh, in the various organizations that help promote uh, the Washington, D.C. Washington, market. Um, you know, we, we avail those opportunities to Jim and vice versa. He invites us to the things that are important to him, too. So, I, you know, together uh, we, we help fill all the gaps we need to to be successful. As we mentioned, Eagle Bank is flexible. Eagle Bank will give you the customized projects and solutions that you're looking for. Can you think of an example? I think you touched on one a little bit earlier, uh, but it, can you think of an example that comes to mind when you think about that relationship you have with Eagle Bank being flexible and tailoring something directly to your company's needs? Yeah, I mean, I would have to say recently, I mentioned the Defense Health Agency contract mm -hmm. award. Another example, we were recently awarded uh, what's called an IDIQ in government contracting. And so it's like an umbrella contract. It's with the Office of the Secretary of Defense right here in DC at the, at the Pentagon. And the ceiling of that contract is one and a half billion dollars. And the government will start awarding to small businesses that were chosen for that, uh, those task orders that we can win. And we were one of only three companies chosen as a small business to get that award. And what that means is we are, we are now in the process of ramping up AMSG's infrastructure and specifically on, on the cash side of the business. Will we be able to reach out to Eagle Bank? And they are providing us those assurances. And they don't just you know, say things to you and then you have a nice business lunch and you walk away and nothing happens. They put things in writing. We can trust that what they say they're gonna do and uh, they always follow up with us. So Jeff, you talked about how there's always someone there when a company needs you. Mm -hmm. How unique is that? When you talk about Eagle Bank, comparing it to other banks, what sets Eagle Bank apart from the others? I, I think what's most important to us is that we want to make sure that all of our clients have, have points of contact, you know, personal points of contact with individuals who understand them and understand their business. Um, and in and, and, and our company, we try to go two and three levels deep in some instances. So you have got a primary point person that, that Jim works with every day. Um, that person may report to me. And so if Jim can't reach one person, he goes right to me and then he's got you know, someone else even beyond that to, to reach as well. Um, I'll give you an example of that. Um, just this weekend, um, Jim and I were trading emails back and forth about a couple of different things. And um, so it's, it's that kind of a relationship that we aspire to have. Um, when he needs to reach us, we'll be available. And Jim, you mentioned yes. that 
not all banks understand what you do. Right. So how big of a problem is that, by the way? And, and what sets Eagle Bank aside from, apart from the other banks that you've worked with? It sounds like you really found the perfect fit in Eagle Bank and what you do. Yeah, I mean, I, I think when I, when I referenced that earlier, when I mentioned that, it was that basically in some cases you just never hear from these other banks. They don't, they don't want to hear from you. That's how it came across to me. Whereas Eagle Bank, they're checking in. Even when I send, I do things like I, we send over the monthly financials and I'll get an email back from Jeff. Hey, Jim, great job. This, you know, things are really going gangbusters over there. Let's sit down. I have looked at what you sent. Let's sit down and talk about um, what might be happening here for the, you know, that's really good news for AMSG and how can we support that with things that I don't even know exist, programs that I don't even know about. I'm not a banker. I mean, that's the great thing about Eagle Bank is that they are constantly looking for ways to help us improve our business and our business operations. And how does that make you feel? It must give you comfort to know that you do have a partner in Eagle Bank that is responsive like that. Absolutely. Yeah, there's, uh, and I want to go back to something Jeff said a minute ago about the relationship. I mean, that is the, if there's one takeaway from your audience today, it should be Eagle Bank forms a relationship of trust with our people. And myself, my, my payables person, receivables, my CFO, all of those folks feel like they have someone they can trust and work with. And, and I will give you a perfect example of how it goes beyond the transactions of business that occur, um, you know, providing the P&L every month and things like that, to the point where the relationship is very personal. So for example, right now, AMSG has seven individuals in Kenya. They've been working in, a, in a, um, an orphanage called the McKindu School. We've never done this before. When I first mentioned it to Jeff a few months ago, he made, I'm sure he made a note of it, mental or written, and he followed up with me later. Hey, how's it going? Are you guys getting ready for that? How are the preparations? No one had ever done that before in the banking relationships that I'd had. So when Jim says that Eagle Bank is different because they're more responsive, other banks, he said, didn't really get back to him as promptly as he would like or didn't fulfill all of his uh, requests in that way. How does that, how does that make you, that, that must really resonate with you because that's what you try to do, right? Well, it's, 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 it's a sign of an accomplishment. Um, you know, we, we, we aspire to go into our relationships as being partnerships. And, and, if, and, if, that, and if it's going to be a partnership, we have to have those kinds of interactions. And uh, so it feels good to hear that. You know, we're doing what we're supposed to and we're abiding by our, our value proposition. And can you explain how you get that done? How do you keep the consistency over time to make sure that you're always that bank that's there and that understands what the company needs? It's hard. It's, it, it's a, you know, we're in a very competitive market and, um, and there are a lot of different banks and, and a lot of different choices that people can make. But, you know, if, if, if we stand by our culture and we abide by it, you begin to attract people uh, whose value systems line up to that. And so if, you, if, if we've done that right, and I think we have, um, then we're able to replicate that across our staff. Can you describe how Eagle Bank has helped you grow and expand over time? If there's a business owner or a company listening to this, watching this, wondering exactly what they might want to get into with Eagle Bank, describe how Eagle Bank has helped you grow and expand. Sure, I think the growth and expansion support that we've been provided by Eagle Bank, it comes back to that knowledge of our industry. So they not, they, we expect they're going to know their business. They're going to know how to do a line of credit. They're going to know how to do treasury support. They're going to do the things that need to be done. That's kind of a given. And as Jeff's just said, it's a highly competitive marketplace. So in most cases of the three or four banks we had in the first seven years of AMSG's life cycle, we saw that competence the differentiator absolutely is their knowledge of the government contractor industry. And so the support that they've given us at every turn, including inviting us to different government contractor uh, events, their trade shows and things like that. Hey, you, Jim, you might want to attend this. And I didn't even know it was happening. And he clued us in, said, hey, well, you know, come on in, come on down in, uh, to this event. That leads to relationships with government officials, with business partners, uh, potentially new hires that we might hire for the projects that we win. And when you talk about government contracting, working with the bank, it makes me think that maybe Eagle Bank has components specifically because you are in the D.C. region. Does that sound right? Because 
government contractors obviously <clears throat> government contractors obviously don't exist as uh, as prevalently as they do in the DC area. So do you have parts of the bank that are specific to the DC area like that? Well, we're a DC regional bank, so so our 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 staff and our and our locations are exclusive to this market. So everybody is. Um, and just by virtue of being here, Nick, we have folks who have acquired an expertise. Because to your point, when you get get outside of this market, it's not as prevalent. It's and, very and, different. And, and, yeah. and, and the confidence begins to fade a little bit. So it's, it's what we eat and breathe. Very good. All right. Yeah. Well, I'd like to thank today's guests, Jim O'Farrell, the CEO of AMSG, and Jeff Rubery, the market executive for Virginia at Eagle Bank. I'm your moderator, Nick Ionelli. For more on this discussion, visit WTOP.com and search Small Business September.